Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely much more easier and faster to make that happen using the platform that I want to show you today. Uh, because this is one of the most powerful platforms for landing building um, in the whole world actually. And I want to show you the main editing features and all the process of how to make your landing page. I saw all those videos like one hour long, but I don't want to waste your time. That's why I want to make this video as short as possible with maximum value. So jump in. First step that you need to take is to find uh, in the description panel, find the link and get that link and jump straight to start page of this platform. And of course, you need to start a free trial. First of all, the platform will ask you to pick a plan and it's up to you. It's up to your business. Which plan do you need? Like one site, three sites or up to 50 sites. But you have the 14 day trial and you can switch it off in any time. Uh, and 14 days is pretty enough to to build your site and actually one day if you have ready content one day is pretty enough to build your own landing page or website uh, and all the editing features are pretty the same and that's what i want to show you that's why let's jump straight to dashboard that how it looks from inside you have landing pages sites conversion tools leads brands images lead magnets integrations domains and support Let's jump to landing pages and let's press the create new landing page. And you'll find out that there's a lot of lot of interesting things uh, just to pick and to edit a little bit. And here you go. Your website is absolutely, absolutely done. Uh, but editing features are pretty the same. And I'm just want to show you how it's made and what's inside the editor. First of all, uh, you need to give your page a name. Uh, it will be real estate, for example, and we just uh, building simple and easy coming soon page right now. I just want to show you all the main editing features and you will get an idea of how to build it by your own because it's pretty simple, easy and everything here is drag and drop. You see that you have when you're hovering over the over the picture, you see that there's uh, elements, different types of elements here. And you have a lot of customization here. Let's begin from the start layout sections, widgets, styles and settings, any landing page or any website build up with the sections. It doesn't matter you build it on a platform or you build it on a WordPress or you just, uh, you, you know, coding and you type in the code, you create in the code, but layout, we see that we have just hero and footer sections here in our layout. So we can add a section straight from here, for example, and we jump into sections button and we have a list of pre-built. You see call to action, contact us, FAQs, feature services, hero, loggers, and so on and so on. Plans and pricing, testimonials, text block, or if you didn't found the block that you need, you can uh, use blank and depend on your type of content that you want to place inside, you can just switch it here inside or you can drag and drop it to the spot where you need it to be. We have two blank pages. Let's go back to layout. You see hero footer blank and blank two. For example, we need the footer to be on the bottom. We just grab in this six dot spot and moving it to the order that we want. Here you go. If we'll go to this section itself, we can add its section settings from this three dots button here, added section settings, add section above or below duplicate copy or delete. That's all the options that you can make with one 
uh, one simple section. So let's jump to edit section settings and they are pretty the same for each of them. You see the background, color, or you can apply an image here. Padding, minimum height, for example, this is automatic and I want it to be bigger. You see? Okay, let's change the color and it's gonna be pretty understandable here how it looks here. For example, color like that. All right. You have a lot of things to play with, like arrow border, timing control, device specific display, and so on. But the main things that you see, we made like this section a little bit bigger. We can make it full big, but we don't need it. Let it be automatic. Then you have a blank section. Drag and drop widgets here to get started. It's pretty understandable. Jump into widgets. You have a lot of them, but if you press show less, those eight is actually all you need to build up your own landing page. Text, image and text, image, separate video, button, form, line and space. So you just need to grab a button to this spot. Here you go. You have a button and you need to add the click event. We're going to talk about it a little bit later. You can drag and drop video. You see this blue line. So you can move it around and the video will be bigger, for example. And you can't move this thing because you don't have a spacer. So we grab in a spacer and dropping it right here. And now you can move button to be in the spot that you want. Okay. Any landing page contains text, videos, backgrounds, and interactive elements. When you go into edit section settings, you see the background. You can change an image. And let's upload the new one straight from computer or you can buy images straight from this platform. You can type keyword to search and you can buy it straight from here. It's very and very useful feature here in the platform, but it's up to like eight dollars per picture. Maybe you don't have eight dollars for buy one picture and you have them like, I don't know, five or ten or depends on type of your business, you may have need like tens of pictures. We're just gonna select the file on the computer and we're gonna upload it straight away. All right, I like this picture to show you. Yeah, you see this picture is pretty, pretty white and we don't, we can't read the content that uh, lays under this background. So we need to apply image color overlay. What does it mean? We add a new color and we can make it even like red or or I want it to be this gray. And you see that opacity is changing and the picture is still there. A little bit darker. Okay, the text is pretty visible. Uh, everything is on spot and the picture is out there. That's pretty cool. So you can play around with all these features, with all these things, uh, how to how to edit the text. It's pretty easy. Just double click on it and you have all the things that you can make with the text. You can change the type. Uh, and this is important to search engine machines like search engine understands that this is a headline or it's a normal text. So you need to take care about that. You can change font, you can change size as you want. You can change spacing. You can make it bald or not bald. You see all the things you can change color. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy. If you want to remove some element, you just press it on this small trash can button and here you go. But the most important information that I want to share you that Main purpose of any landing page or any website is to bring new clients. If we're talking about the landing pages itself, the main purpose of landing page is to get, to get the client's contact information. 
Uh, you can make it with interactive elements like forms and buttons. When you, what's gonna happen actually when somebody will press the button? It's gonna be the event. Yeah, edit, click event. You need to take care about that. You have list of options. Open a pop-up, open a calendar pop-up, jump to page section, link to landing page, link to external URL. For example, um, it's gonna be not subscribe for updates, like read more. Yeah, and you uh, switch and jump to page section, you select this section uh, where you have like about and that's pretty it but in most cases uh, the pop-up are used and this is great let it be site update subscription all right and let's add it the pop-up itself because this is important uh, even if somebody will fulfill this email address how you'll get the notification about that this you can handle with edit integrations jump in here so integrations uh, you can get your data to straight to your email account or you can add an external service and the list is pretty impressive actually convert kit go to webinar entreport mailchimp active campaign all those are email marketing tools and uh you can connect those tools if you have an account of MailChimp, for example, GetResponse or other, or Zapier, fantastic tool. If you don't know what's that, it's pretty, pretty cool. And you can use all that. Uh, you can integrate all those things to your landing page and it's going to work. And this is like beautiful. All right, fields. The second button is fields. For example, email. I don't want uh, just only email. I want a first name, for example. And maybe I want a, a phone number or uh, like street address or some other information that you need. But in most cases, email and first name is pretty enough. Um, if, you, if you're making people to subscribe to your newsletter. With these small arrows, you can move them around and actions what's gonna happen when somebody really will fulfill the e first name and email address and press like subscribe or send or uh, or any text on your button what's gonna happen default lead pages thank you page uh, other landing page external url or remain on page so it's up to you also what is the what is your sales funnel i don't know what is the steps of your client in your sales funnel and maybe you want to uh, remain on page or maybe you want the landing page or maybe you have external url for example this website is building and you have the old one for example yeah and somebody uh, fulfilled the action or even you can add a lead magnet um, in case if you're saying get uh, some useful information like checklists or it's a pdf with uh with a tutorial uh, and you can just apply it you can add a lead magnet to the file physical file straight here that's pretty it we go in back for next button styles you can change the font styles for entire page straight from here and this is very useful also the page background you see that there's a color if you'll apply the image you'll get the great parallax effect the picture will stay um, on the bottom of your uh, landing page and all the content all the elements and all the things will be uh, like layers under this under this picture I will not show it to you it's pretty simple and you can try it by yourself if you want one uh, one more button is settings and this is huge and this is really important SEO definitely you need your website to be visible to search engine machines and you need to um, take care about all the SEO page title page description and keywords now, or you can choose I don't want search engines to index this page so you can use this page for your ad campaigns only and nobody can find you in google for example social what does it mean uh, you can upload a picture that will be displayed in 
uh, Facebook, if you want to share your link to Facebook, for example. So think about that. Analytics, also the big question that you need to take care of because uh, you need to analyze all the traffic that flows into your page and you need to uh, make some decisions about how to move forward. That's why you need to apply the Google Analytics tracking ID and Facebook pixel and so on. And the language, actually the language, it's pretty clear. So guys, I showed you everything that you need to know. If you have an inactive button, it will be inactive and uh, you will not miss that. And you need to add the click event. I showed you how you can add the click event. I showed you all the backgrounds. I showed you all the things. Uh, everything for editing happens with this pencil button and styles, rounded, circular, flat, line and gradient. And all the things you, you can decide. You just need uh, need to play around with that for like one hour maybe or uh, for one day. And if you have all the tags for your website, if you have all the pictures for your website, it's pretty easy to uh, make your site be beautiful and efficient. So I showed you everything as I promised. This is a short video, not one hour long because all the main things are highlighted for you. I appreciate that you watched this video. I appreciate that you interested in your own business and of how to make your own landing page. So I wish you good luck. I wish you big profits and see you in the next video. And again, I want to remind you that all the useful links are under this video in the description panel. Take care and bye bye.